Hello everyone. Welcome to our program God is Love episode 11. The Bible text for this episode is taken from the book of 1st Samuel 16th chapter verses from 4 through 13. In this episode we are going to meditate on God's love and care for his people. The truth is God loves his people all the time. God loves us all the time. That is the truth. Now, let us come to the context of this text. The Lord rejected Saul, the first king of Israel, for his disobedience. People of Israel were so happy that they have a king finally. Saul was their king. Prophet Samuel anointed Saul as the first king of the people of Israel. They were so very happy. But the Lord rejected Saul for his disobedience. In a battle against the enemies, the Amalekites, the Lord wanted a total destruction of the enemies, including the livestock, that is, oxen and sheep. But Saul and his army kept the best of sheep and oxen for themselves. It was a total disobedience. Now, when prophet Samuel asked for the reason why Saul had to do this, Saul came out with a clever explanation saying that he kept it to offer to the Lord as a sacrifice. Very, very clever explanation, but it was not true. Now, Samuel rebuked Saul like this. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Beautiful. Now, disobedience, this disobedience of Saul exposes Saul's arrogance, pride, dishonesty, and lack of total trust in the Lord. So, Saul was kind of proud. He was arrogant and he, and he was not honest. Now, with this, the Lord, dis, the Lord was displeased with Saul and rejected him as the king. Now, Prophet Samuel was very sad about this. He was in great grief. Now, the Lord commissioned the Prophet Samuel to go to the city of Bethlehem to anoint one of the kings of Jesse as the successor of Saul, the king. Now, today's the text comes at this context. Samuel did as the Lord had commanded him. When he entered Bethlehem, the elders of the city came trembling to meet him and asked, Is your visit peaceful, O seer? He replied, Yes, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. So purify yourselves and celebrate with me today. He also had Jesse and his sons purify themselves and invited them to the sacrifice. As they came, he looked at Eliab and thought, Surely the anointed is here before the Lord. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. God does not see as a mortal who sees the appearance. The Lord looks into the heart. Then Jesse called Ebenadid and presented him before Samuel, who said, The Lord has not chosen him. Next, Jesse presented Shema. But Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. In the same way, 
Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest, but he is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. We will not sit down to eat until he arrives here. Jesse had the young man brought to them. He was ruddy, a youth with beautiful eyes and good looking. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is the one. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord rushed upon David. Then Samuel set out for Ramah. As per the instructions of the Lord, Prophet Samuel went to the city of Bethlehem to anoint one of the sons of Jesse as the new king of Israel in place of Saul. Prophet Samuel himself never knew who the Lord was choosing as the new king. In Bethlehem, all the sons of Jesse were brought before Prophet Samuel. They were purified. Now, looking at the first son of Jesse, Eliab, and his stature, Prophet Samuel thought, here is the anointed. Now, let us see the Lord's answer, Lord's response, what the Lord is trying to tell Tell, tell Samuel and all of us. Verse 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. God does not see as a mortal. Who, see, who sees the appearance? The Lord looks into the heart. Mortals would see the appearance, but the Lord would look into the heart heart. Hence, the Lord rejected Eliab. In the same way, the Lord rejected Abinadab and Shamma and all the seven sons of Jesse. Finally, Jesse brought before prophet Samuel his last son David, a handsome young shepherd boy who had beautiful eyes. Above all, he possessed great innocence. The Lord chose this innocent young shepherd boy as the new king of the people of Israel in place of Saul. Prophet Samuel anointed this young boy, David, as the new king and went back to Ramah, his hometown. Later on, David became a king after God's own heart, meaning the one who understood God's heart and knew how God feels about his people. Beautiful. Let us now look into the takeaways from this episode. In choosing David as the new king of the people of Israel, the Lord designed a marvelous plan for the people of Israel. And later on, for all the people of all the nations, the Lord raised Jesus, his son, in the tribe of Judah, in the line of David as the perfect king, as the king of kings. The Lord established David's kingdom. Here, the Lord raised his own son Jesus in the line of David to be a perfect king who defeated Satan. David defeated all the enemies there, all the earthly enemies. Whereas here, Jesus who was born in the line of David from the tribe of Judah, defeated our spiritual enemy, the devil beautiful. This is God's plan for all his people. Isn't this a wonderful example of God's love for all, for all of us, my friends? Hence, let us praise the Lord. Let us thank the Lord for his great and marvelous for all of us. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we give you praise. We adore you. We bless you. 
we make you our everything. Open our eyes to your limitless love and forgiveness. Make us understand that you not only call us, but you empower us. And that you are never in a hurry. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hello everyone, and thanks for watching another episode of God is Love, a JCKU Creations production, a ministry founded by Father Jesus Gudeme. I hope you enjoyed this one. This is a real interesting one. They're all interesting, but this I find this one this very special because here, here you have the prophet Samuel, who is really, he's looking for the anointed one. He wants to anoint the, the beginning of the lineage, in effect, of the Messiah. So this is happening some 1,500 years before the Christ. You know, 1,500 years to a, to a human is a long time. To God, it's like a, you know, a millisecond. Amazing. So what happens? So he, he goes to the house of Jesse. Jesse's got all these sons. And you know the the birth order is very important. So he start Jesse loads up, you know, with the oldest, uh, the biggest, uh, you know, the, the best. And uh, Samuel, no, no, God, God is saying no, no, no. Next, next, next. So you don't have anybody left. So what does he do? He's got this the, the youngest, which symbolically is the least important in the birth order, the the youngest. He's in the field, you know, picking up after the sheep. How low can you get, right? So what does he do? He brings he brings his youngest son in, and and God says, Well, Samuel, this is the anointed one. And now we have the beginning of the Chronicles with David. And how magnificent after studying the Psalms, David is. But now David is the, the lineage to Christ. So no, amazing stuff. So that you can't judge a book by its cover, can you? So, you know, God always calls you, but he also can empower you as well. So we can use that in our daily life. Very important. So we hope you enjoyed it. Please tell your friends about JCKU Creations. We're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble. We're trying to expand our reach. We're in over 10 countries now and and we're, we're growing and we're getting the word out there and it's all because of you so thank you have a nice day i'm frank i'll see you next time <music>